Which player will benefit the most from winning a championship? So we are pretty advanced in the playoffs so far, and uh, the four teams remaining are the Boston Celtics, the Miami Heat, the Los Angeles Lakers, and the Denver Nuggets. And it's a lot of stakes for several players, and I just thought it would be a good idea to to pretty much put on the table what's at stake for the winners. Uh, I do believe that Jimmy Butler would benefit a lot from winning a championship, but ultimately, uh, if we look at history, he's the one that has the least out of the superstar to win by winning a championship. Um, if he wins the championship, it would just put the cap on a pretty satisfying NBA season and it would turn it into a great NBA season. Um, we will remember Jimmy Butler as one of a guy who won like a Dirk Nowitzki type of championship. However, here's why it would be like fourth or fifth on this list of players. It's because if Jimmy Butler never gets the chance to win a championship, legacy-wise, currently, is not in any talks like that. Jimmy Butler is not in no top 75 player of all time conversations. I've even heard some people, like I, I believe it was the hot couple by uh, Chris Boussard and Rob Parker, got on there were questioning whether Jimmy Butler was a Hall of Famer or not. You know, So he's, I think that's lunacy, that he should be a Hall of Famer. But it just shows how low, when it comes to all time ranking, Jimmy Butler currently is. Number three on that list is Jason. Number four, sorry, on that list is Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is still super young, so right now he's not on the all timer type type rankings or anything. But he has a lot of time on his side, and he's leading a team that's that that's pretty well equipped to compete at a high level for a while, especially if they keep Jalen Brown with him, you know, and they keep that core of him, Marcus Smart, uh, Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, and maybe, you know, they have to find a replacement for Alo for the, who's aging. But, you know, the main players will still be here. So I believe Jason Tatum is around 25 or something, and uh, he's been good ever since his rookie season. So if he were to win a ring that early, uh, you, you can compare him to, you know, the, the trajectory of the greats. Like LeBron James was an NBA champion, ch- champion for the first time, I believe, by age 28. Michael Jordan, age 27. Giannis Antetokounmpo, age 27. And I can keep going, right? It's only a few players like Magic or Kobe who won rings early. But let's be honest, like, they had other NBA all-timers on their team. Uh, with uh, Magic playing with Kareem and Kobe playing with Shaq, you know. With Jason Tatum at 25 or 26 years old, whatever or age he has, he's able to win a ring and lead a team to a championship with a finals MVP. You know, it, it catapults him in all-time greatness, especially with all of the time that he still has ahead and all of the other opportunities, right? Number four, number three, sorry, is uh, Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis would have two rings and the, the, it, he's already NBA top 75, right? So a lot of people would actually bring back the silly ass conversation, in my opinion. But yeah, is Anthony Davis uh, the best ball forward of all time? Is he the second all time great ball forward of all time? Uh, it's only Tim Duncan and him, all those talks. You remember when people would have those talks? They would bring it right back, especially since this year with an aging LeBron James. He has a pretty good chance at, at winning finals MVP. So. The people love Anthony Davis' game, man. So if you were able to win a second ring, especially if you think of how bad the Lakers were at the beginning of the season, man, like the people would talk about Anthony Davis being like top 30 to top 20 of all time, you know? So a lot of stakes for him. Uh, Number two, Nikola Jokic. A ring for him would put him in all-time greatness also. Two times MVP, especially with the way Nikola, um, Joel Embiid choked in the playoffs. A lot of people will say that he should be a three-time MVP. Uh, uh, Joel Embiid was still my MVP for the regular season, by the way. But yeah, uh, and he would be undoubtedly the best player in the league if he were able to win a ring right now. The stats on his side, uh, he's doing it all. He's not a great defender, but if he's still able to win despite of his defense, there is nothing else to say. He's solidified as the best player in the league, and, and the sky would be the limit for him because the league is not going to be that much better next season. So if he wins a ring this year, man, yeah. And obviously, number one is LeBron James just because, I mean, he's playing for GOAT status. Uh, for some people, he's already the GOAT. 
for some people, uh, you'll always be number two. But it's also a few people who are on the fence, and it's all about the whole time game, man. And if you look at his whole body of work, all time greatest scorer, the the I think like 16 to 17 All NBA's, uh, a lot of them being first team, six time All Defense, five rings, the ability to go to the finals seven more times than Michael Jordan or six more times than Michael Jordan. Uh, the longevity, winning it in year 20, especially if he gets that final MVP, that would be completely unprecedented. Even guys like Stephen A. Smith, who have always been adamant about Michael Jordan being the eternal number one, said that yeah, if LeBron James were able to do it, it would open up the conversation, you know? So that, that just goes to tell you. And we all know that if guys like that start to sway, people can have the, the power to sway a lot of people's opinion. I do believe, however, then that, that ship has sailed for a lot of Jordan fans. As soon as LeBron James won, lost once in the finals, it's been over for a lot of people. So, yeah, obviously LeBron James would be number one on that list. So, yeah, those are my top five players with the most uh, at stake and the most uh, to win if they won the championship. So, yeah, get in the comment section. Tell me whether you agree with my reasoning or not. And give me your top fives. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.